Citigroup loses 3.9 million database records. Bank of America loses 1.2 million records of federal employees. And TJ Maxx loses a record 46 million customer database records. Even specialty couriers like Iron Mountain aren't immune to human error and tapes being lost. And Consumer Union reports it's another week in another identity theft scandal. Hi, I'm Bob Cozy. You know, recently I received a mail from uh, one of my local credit card companies, and it informed me that my identity or my credit card information had been compromised in a local retailer. Actually, it's a nationwide retailer. The database was backed up to tape. The tape was then put in an area where it was then supposed to be transported to a secure location for backup purposes. The problem is most people who have System I believe that their backups are secure simply because they saved them from a System I. And after all, what criminal is going to have a System I to restore the data onto? But as you'll find out in a moment, for a lot less money, it's not so difficult to read System I backup files using a simple PC and a tape drive I bought on eBay. While I don't necessarily like buying things on eBay, it's ver relatively easy to buy an LTO2 tape drive. I just keyed in Dell space LTO2, and I got this list of external and internal drives along with some tapes if I need to do some backups myself. But since this is an espionage mission and we want to actually read a backup from an AS400 or System I, I need to scroll down and find an external drive that I can connect to my SCSI adapter. I think I see one right here. Let me click on it. It looks good. Everything is there. External LTO2 tape device. Let's buy it and start our decrypting. The next thing I did was contacted a friend at a local business that I know has a system I. I told him I wanted to steal his backups just to prove that I could read it with my own PC at home without an iSeries. So they let me do this, but I wanted to see if I could breach the security anyway. So, here's what I did. I'm just going to grab these backup tapes. Well, let's go take a look at those tapes on that inexpensive drive I picked up on eBay. In the envelope I lifted from the receptionist's desk, I found two LTO1 tapes. Now, these tapes can be read in any AS400 tape device that supports LTO1, 2, or 3. But since I don't have an AS400 i-series to restore these on and look at them, I'm wondering, can I actually see the data that's on these tapes? So we went on eBay and I bought a $700 LTO2 tape drive, which will actually read these tapes. I've connected it to a PC, and now we're going to see if we can compromise the information stored on these EBCDIC i-series backups. All right, well, I'm looking at these tapes, and there's they're 100 gigabyte capacity uncompressed and a 200 gigabyte compressed. So there could be a lot of data stored on one of these tapes. It's an incredible amount of storage. So let's put it in the drive and see what happens. Slide it in over here. We'll let it set for a second. A bit noisy. Okay, now what I've done is I've downloaded an uh, evaluation copy of a program called TapeWise, which is from the UK, and you can download it from the web. And it will actually read these LTO tapes from this SCSI uh, attached tape drive. So I've already launched the software. I'm going to uh, just click the dump view, which lets me just dump the data on the tape into the browser. And once it launches, I have to click the play button because this is actually a tape. So we click play to play the tape. It'll read it. It reads the first header, which, you know, looks like gobbledygook. Uh, some more information here. Now, you notice the hexadecimal characters are EBCDIC characters, but since EBCDIC read on an ASCII machine is gobbledygook, we're getting a bunch of garbage over here where we normally have blanks. We have a lot of uh, at signs and characters with the grave accent on them. 
So I'm going to continue now past the tape headers until I get to the file marker. And this is the start of the data in the backup. Click play one more time and I get a dump of all the data that's on the tape. Still doesn't look like very much. Uh, scroll through here a bit. Really don't see too much information. However, one of the features of this evaluation software in the commercial version is we can go up to view menu and I can click on convert EBCDIC to ASCII. Now as soon as I do that, I start to see some characters here that kind of make sense. They're typical i-series backup characteristics and I'm going to scroll through the dump here. I have to go down quite a ways to actually see any information. And what do you know? There's a person's name, their social security number, another person's name, social security number, and it goes on. And it's in plain text. So the tapes you back up on the i-series are not necessarily secure simply because they're EBCDIC from the i-series. Anybody with a $700 tape drive or less can put those tapes into the drive, read them on the PC, and within literally seconds have all the information they need, sell it on the internet, post it on the internet, distribute it throughout the world. Now I'm not sure how much data is on those tapes I just stole, but Consultants are estimating it could cost as much as $182 per compromised record. In addition, state and federal laws require you to notify individuals whose data has been compromised and in some cases pay for identity theft protection for up to a year. Well, that's it. I hope you realize now how important it is to protect your backup media, to protect your data on your backup media. And the only real way to do that is through encryption. I'm Bob Cozy. Keep your data safe.